Boris Johnson will insist the world can defeat coronavirus together as he helps lead an international rescue effort. The Prime Minister will join forces with Canada, France, Germany and others for a global fundraising blitz to generate more than £6 billion. He will say it is humanity against the virus, we are in this together, and together we will prevail. Mr Johnson will call on countries to come together in a truly global effort to stop COVID-19 in its tracks. Britain is already leading the global fight to find a vaccine by donating the most cash so far. The PM will set out the UK's latest £388 million round of aid today for research into vaccinations, tests and treatments. He will say, to win this battle, we must work together to build an impregnable shield around all our people, and that can only be achieved by developing and mass-producing a vaccine. The more we pull together and share our expertise, the faster our scientists will succeed. The race to discover the vaccine to defeat this virus is not a competition between countries, but the most urgent shared endeavor of our lifetimes. It's humanity against the virus, we are in this together, and together we will prevail. Mr Johnson's charge to find a way to beat the disease comes after he revealed shocking details of his own fight for life after being struck down with COVID-19 at the end of March. The Prime Minister told how doctors prepared to announce his death as he battled against the virus. Mr Johnson spent three nights in intensive care at St Thomas in London with the disease, where he said medics gave him liters and liters of oxygen. He described it as a tough old moment and revealed the staff had a strategy to deal with a death of Stalin type scenario. I was not in particularly brilliant shape and I was aware there were contingency plans in place, he told the Sun on Sunday. The doctors had all sorts of arrangements for what to do if things went badly wrong. Mr. Johnson, 55, said he had initially been in denial initially about how serious his illness was. When his condition worsened he began thinking, how am I going to get out of this? But said his terrible buoyancy meant he believed he would survive. He returned to Downing Street on Monday after a fortnight convalescing at Checkers and two days later fiancé Carrie Simmons gave birth to their son, Wilfred Laurie Nicholas Johnson. They named him after their grandfathers, and two doctors, Dr. Nick Price and Professor Nick Hart, who helped save Mr. Johnson's life. The Prime Minister is expected to hold a meeting of the Cabinet on Thursday to sign off the next steps in the coronavirus battle. After leading the daily coronavirus war cabinet this morning, he will join the virtual pledging conference with Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Norway, Saudi Arabia, and senior EU officials. They want to raise billions of pounds to help find a vaccine and treatments for COVID-19 as part of an international alliance fighting the disease. Britain will confirm £388 million, part of a larger £744 million in aid funding to help end the pandemic and support the global economy. Money raised at the conference will be used to make up the global funding shortfall estimated by the Global Preparedness Monitoring Board GPMB, which monitors how the world deals with health crises.